Hey, welcome back everybody. I'm Drone Tech and today I have something a little bit different just because I don't have a lot of time on Thursdays to do a video and I didn't have much time last night. So instead, I want to share a video with you that I'm not sure is getting a ton of reach, but it really deserves it. Uh, it was put out yesterday by Newsbusters and a guy there named Bill Agostino. I hope I'm not mangling his name. And he goes through all the examples of the media being very deceptive when talking about the election laws that for election integrity that are being passed and also the bill that Democrats are trying to get passed, HR1. Now, Bill isn't on any of the social media platforms. He's very against social media. And so that's why I don't think this video is probably getting a ton of views. So I just wanna do my part, help him uh, to get that out there because it's definitely worth seeing. Uh, go ahead and check it out and I'll talk to you at the end. The news media are supposed to be about the news, not political spin. But too much of what you see on so-called news channels these days are just cheap partisan talking points designed to push a narrative rather than to objectively inform. Let's talk about the battle over new election laws. Last year during the pandemic, states adopted a lot of new and exotic voting techniques. Drive-in voting, massive vote by mail, unattended drop boxes, a lot of new and unprecedented stuff. So now states are moving to update their rules to make sure that only eligible voters are voting. And of course, Democrats are claiming that these new rule changes are restrictions and suppression motivated by racist Republicans. Instead of calling out the Democrats for their shameless hyperbole, the news media are helping them discredit any rules aimed at making elections more secure. You hear the same language over and over again, like an advertising campaign, because that's exactly what it is. As we listen to what the media are saying here, keep in mind, none of these laws would actually restrict any eligible citizens from voting on election day or voting early or voting by mail if they needed to. The claim that these laws would prevent voters from voting is fantasy. You don't get a home security system to keep out wanted guests. Anyway, let's dive in. Republicans in at least 43 states now introducing bills to restrict access. 22 states have passed voter suppression laws. Voter suppression laws that are advancing. A Republican bill designed to suppress voting. Voter suppression laws. These voter suppression laws. New voting restrictions laws signed today. One of the most restrictive. One of the most restrictive. One of the most restrictive voting bills in the country. So obviously there's a pattern here. And of course, it's pretty negative in tone. Now let's compare this coverage to how so-called journalists talk about the Democrats' federal power grab called the For the People Act, which would override state laws, doesn't matter if they're new or longstanding, including outlying popular election measures such as voter ID employed by 36 states. Here we have a host of election laws passed in state houses around the country by lawmakers elected by the people. For a small cadre of liberals in Washington, D.C. to override all of that on a purely party-line vote would seem extremely undemocratic. But that's not how the media are selling it. They want viewers to think that Democrats are just trying to protect voter rights. Democrats' top priority for protecting voting rights, the For the People Act. The For the People Act, which would be a, a sort of baseline threshold of voting access. A nationwide floor of voting rights like what's contained in H.R. 1. Action on the federal level protecting voting rights, a kind of new version of the Voting Rights Act. Republicans are so terrified of the For the People Act because they know it'll fix our democracy in the very ways that they're trying to undermine it. All of this heavy-handed coverage boils down to just another example of the whole problem with the media. That is, partisan journalists have abandoned reporting the news in favor of propaganda and political advocacy. That's why viewers need to make sure that they're getting all sides of the story, not just one-sided rhetoric. See what I'm talking about? The guy is good at making these videos. But his point is well taken, and it's something that we all already knew. The media exists as a propaganda outlet for the Democrat Party. They are Democrat Party state media. And what that means is that they're going to attack any kind of barriers to the Democrat Party agenda. And those barriers are political dissent. It's their political opposition. And to do that, they have to endlessly demonize that party while constantly propping up and never scrutinizing anything that the Democrats do. One thing before I go, I want to let you all know that I'm going to try and start up the Thursday Discord live chats again starting tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern. So if you'd like to watch or if you'd like to participate, go ahead and show up. I'll have a link in the description and pinned comment to my Discord. Uh, if you've never used it before, it's really easy to use and people there will be willing to help you. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to head on over to Newsbusters, check out all the work that they do and all of Bill's work, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. I'll put a link to that in the description and pinned comment. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow.